did too much influence of the so called gandhian philosophy leftist teachings and the nehruvian socialistic regime grow away india's fighting spirit it is mostly the influence of the gandhian philosophy that has caused this indians have a very strange unrealistic view of the world sports is about brotherhood and friendship india's national motto is satya meva jayate but india's politicians act in the exact opposite manner india's education system is full of lies so where is satya meva jayate it is actually asatya meva jayate if you look at india india's education system the way it distorts history the the false things it teaches children it's all about falsehoods and distortions and lies so the policies of the indian government the indian regime even today to some extent are the opposite of india's national motto so indians believe in a fictitious fairy tale make believe version of the world because of the education system because of the media because of what the politicians teach us and it is all because of what gandhi did the gandhi and philosophy we believe it is all <laughs> it is all real ahimsa etc so here is the thing gandhi said that ahimsa is the number one thing but his interpretation of ahimsa was very wrong right he said that, see here's the thing about non violence gandhi said be weak because non violence is best i'll tell you something weakness is the greatest sin you can imagine and non violence is not a virtue if you are weak take the rabbit for example the rabbit we love rabbits right very cute little animals so rabbits we know they are non violent is it some great virtue for a rabbit to be non violent non violence is something that is naturally inherent in the weak people in the weak in, in in those who are weak they are simply not capable of violence and therefore if you are weak it is not some great virtue to be non violent if you are weak your only option is to be non violence the thing is that weakness invites violence from those who are strong and therefore weakness being weak is the greatest sin that is imaginable because it invites it, it it invites hinsa weakness gives rise to hinsa weakness is the enemy of ahinsa if you want real ahinsa if you want real non violence you have to develop and cultivate strength and power and when you develop and cultivate strength and power you become strong and powerful and that ensures that ahimsa prevails and the and the gandhian philosophy is the opposite of that always be passive always be weak no matter what they do to you don't retaliate so he turned india and the people of india into a bunch of losers and today we have leaders who worship gandhi so this is the problem in india it is the indian of gandhian philosophy that has destroyed india's fighting spirit india has always been a, a nation of winners and a nation of warriors it is this one individual gandhi and those who worship him that have destroyed india's fighting spirit today the people of india are all living in a fake la la land they think ahimsa is the great thing gandhi was a saint the world is full of brother brotherhood and bhaichara and what not the real world is the world of vishnu gupta chanakya please remember that so it is gandhi and his philosophy that have destroyed india's fighting spirit we need to revive india's fighting spirit by rejecting those who worship gandhi and by rejecting gandhian philosophy